Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we will talk about all of the updates that Zoho made in its software from the start of this year and there have been a lot so let's get right into it. As always we will start from the core of every business Zoho CRM and there had been a major update at the start of this year in this software. So let's start from sales enablement. First one is email threads. Zoho CRM now supports threaded views for your emails. Also, transactional SMS functionality now is available in Zoho CRM. The next one is roll-up summary fields that give your team quick access to data like the total number of pending activities for a lead, when the next activity is in due, and etc. User lookup field support in subforms. You can now relate user in subforms look using lookup fields like user email ID or any other information. The next one is subform support in email templates. You can now insert any of your subforms into your email templates and tables and that add or remove rows and columns for the subforms. Deal lookup fields in invoices. Zoho CRM invoices now natively support deal lookup fields. Also some enchantments to portals. You can change email IDs of portal users and customize the template for portal invites. Translation support enchantments. With the latest enchantments, you can now translate the following values in Zoho CRM. Module names, subform labels, related list labels. Global pick list values make capturing data across modules easier. So with global sets, your admin can now define a global set of pick list values that can then be assigned to any pick list in any module. Next enchantments are in analytics and sales performance management. You can archive your forecasts now. You can also search and highlight support for reports. You can have the URL based performance tracking in web form analytics. There's also a new analytical component to give you deeper insights into your sales process. Let's move on to predictive intelligent. First is Zia presentation. With the recent update, Zia can now assemble a collection of personalized analytical gathered from your CRM data, generate exclusive insights and behavioral analytics relevant to your organization's performance, and complete the most important findings in a presentation. Also some recommendations analytics. So Zoho now added an analytic layer to your recommendations to help you understand the impacts of Zia's recommendations have on your business. Then object detection in Zia vision. So now you can train Zia to validate images uploaded into Zoho CRM only when it detects a specific object in the image that you've trained it to detect. And consecutive negative sentiment notification. So Zia's email sentiment analyzes the content of every incoming email from customers and tags them according to the type of the sentiment the content conveys. The next one is analytics for the best time to contact. Zia already tells you when is the best time to contact your leads and contacts by analyzing their emails and phone calls, but now they added a in-depth analytics so you can see the impact that Zia's best time to contact recommendations has on the conversations. Also, Zia similarity recommendations. Sometimes the customer's interests, pain points, and requirements might overlap with those other customers you've dealt with before. In these cases, Zia will identify records that share key similarities with the customer you're currently working with and recommend these customers to you. Next one is Zia's next best experience. It studies the closed one deals in your organizations, assesses how correspondence and handled at each stage, correlates the findings with your open deals, and displays suggestions in a widget within each deal. Next one is custom intent categories for your incoming emails. So now you have the ability to create your own intent categories that reflects the needs and processes of your business. Also call transcription and intelligence. So Zia will automatically transcribe the entire call in a text document, which you can team can go back and analyze. Also history and usage information for Zia data enrichment. So you can collect and make available the following metrics for your reference. Monthly limit and average consumption per month, a pie chart illustrating the total number of enrichments made across different modules, a trend chart illustrating the adoption trend for enrichment to date, a table disturbing the number of enrichment limits consumed across modules each month. 
Also routine messages for Ask Zia. So for example, your sales reps want to know the numbers of leads they created at the end of each day. So in these situations, you can pre-configure Zia to send you messages automatically at a set time or frequency with the data that you're looking for. Also, churn prediction. So Zoya analyzes all customer records, their interaction, purchase patterns, and more to assign scores to each customer. The higher the score, the more likely a customer is to churn. And let's move on to sales operations. So admin tools for managing CRM configurations. Zoho CRM's admin tools provide a centralized space where you can delete obsolete templates, custom views, workflow rules and reports, as well as track each feature's deletion history and preserve the essence of your records with record locking. Whatever the reason is, you can now lock entire records in Zoho CRM with record locking capability. And let's move on to the updates in Zoho Books. So there have been an update and now in Zoho Books, you can use multiple currencies and collect payments from all around the world very easily. The next app that I wanna talk about is Zoho Voice, a telephony that Zoho provides. And there have been two major updates in Zoho Voice. First one, they introduced an unlimited calling for USA and Canada. Second of all, Zoho Voice announced branded calling. So now when you call your client, you can brand the phone number to the name of your company, as you can see in the picture. The next thing is that Zoho launched a new app, Zoho Webinars. So now you can host webinars, record them, invite attendees, make polls and other stuff inside of the webinar, and also streamline your webinars on YouTube channel. We already made a video tutorial on how it works, so make sure to check that video out. Here will be the link in the corner of this video. So at first Zoho webinar was also a part of Zoho meeting. So let's talk about the updates in that app. First of all, Zoho meeting introduced a business calls inside this app. So now you can connect calls to Zoho meeting. This was also an update that was made in the whole workspace bundle of apps and it is an update also for Zoho Click. Second of all, if we're talking about Zoho Meeting, Zoho has updated a analytics tab in Zoho Meeting so you can get much more deep analytics about the meetings that you're hosting and get much more data and insights from them. Now let's talk about Zoho Notes. Zoho Notes is a free note-taking app from Zoho. You can watch a full tutorial overview on this app here in the corner of the video will be a link and all of the links will be down below too. And it has launched a update which allows you to save all of the chat GPT responses and auto-generated content that you want to get from it to your notes automatically. And by the way, we also made few videos about ChatGPT and how can you use it to improve your experience with Zoho, for example, how to teach ChatGPT to write Zoho Deluge or how to teach ChatGPT to write SQL and use it for Zoho Analytics. You can check those videos here in the corner. There will be a link and the links will be again down below in the description box. And let's move on to updates in Zoho Writer. So first of all, Zia in Zoho Writer is now fluent in French language and also Zoho Writer has launched a smart writing assistant that is basically a dupe for Grammarly that will help you to correct the errors and also help you to formulate the sentences more correctly. It is available in English, Spanish and French, but also Zoho promises to add more languages to this assistant. The next update is in Zapto Mail. There have been a few updates for the past two years in this app and now Zoho decided to launch a new interface for this software. Now let's move on to Zoho Sign. There have been a few updates in this app and first one, it is customizable for using in Singapore, South Africa and also Australia. You can check out the blog posts about it down in the description box, but it is fully customized to use, legally use in those countries. Second of all, Zoho Sign has introduced USB token and 
PFX file based document signing inside of the Zoho sign. Another cool update in Zoho sign is AMP signing. So now you can AMP a document on your website using Zoho sign API so your customers can sign documents already in your app or on your website. Now let's move on to the updates in Zoho Mail. First of all, Zoho Mail has introduced a new analytics tab view for the users so you can get more insights from your app and your software that you're using. And second of all, Zoho has announced a new app which is Mail 360. So Mail 360 is a universal email API platform that allows developers to gain full email capabilities for their applications with a single point of integration, all without having to build it by themselves from scratch. Now let's talk about the updates of Zoho Click. There have been a lot of updates for this collaboration software. So as already mentioned, Zoho introduced Click's very own phone system, so you can now integrate it with Zoho Voice or Twilio, Ring Central, or any other phone system like that. There's updates for meetings in Zoho Click. For example, all new Click app for your TV. So your Android TV can now efficiently host Click meetings with the Click app. You can share presentations during the meetings and enjoy high quality presentations. Instead of sharing the screen, you can just upload your presentation from Zoho Work Drive. Another thing is you can get system alert while you speak muted. So you get the notification and seamlessly call continually between devices. So you can communicate on the go by transferring calls between your desktop, laptop, mobile device, and even your car. There's also a whole new level of customization. Admins can now customize the navigation sidebar to rearrange, hide, or show modules according to the organization's requirements. Also, you can overcome language barriers while you communicate with Zoho Click's automatic chat translation. You can choose the languages you want translated and continue conversations without any issues. Now you can also locate a specific stared message in a group of messages with a stared message search bar. You can pick and share work drive files right from your chat window. Annotate images when you share through mobile. You can add the shapes, mark a particular selection with a pen, or blur details when you share files from Click iOS app. Admins can also now manage all the internal apps created in their organization from the resource management tab in the admin panel. Take a step forward with Click platform updates. There is a kiosk mode for widget. You can get better access to your widgets in Doho Click with all new kiosk mode. Map view from tracking updates. Build custom apps in Click with a map view. For instance, if you're building a cab booking app for your employees, you can configure the map view for users to track where the cabs are located. You can also access forms using a permalink and share them with others. For example, if you'd like to collect employee feedback about the workplace policies, you can generate a QR code for your survey form and include it on poster place around the office. And you can also make catalogs in forms. You can build booking and ordering apps that require inventory management with the latest catalog component in Form Builder. And I also want to talk about the bundle of apps workspace because again, there have been updates for the apps that are in this software bundle. So Zoho cares about the confidential information that you sent via email. That's why they made Zoho Mail secure pass that you can use to send critical and sensitive information to people confidentially via email in respecting of what email applications they use. But also Zoho has made a new app for desktop users of Zoho Workspace bundle of apps, which is Trident. So let's see what this app exactly is. So Trident is a new app that brings your email and team collaboration suits together. This native Mac iOS and Windows app units mail, click, notes, audio video calls, calendar, and more in one location. Trident offers a variety of industry-first experiences. The smart mail feature, for example, transforms mail notifications into live versions of their destination apps right within your inbox. Trident is currently in public beta and is available for all Zoho Mail users. So as you can see by the amount of new updates and new launches, the start of 2023 was very productive for Zoho software. And if you want to learn more about the implementation, integration and customization of this software, 
you can book a free 30 minute consultation with one of our experts by the link down below in the description box and i also hope that you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you please make sure to subscribe to our channel click the notification button so you don't miss any useful information that we share here